Notion AI tutorial and review. Is Notion AI actually worth it? Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing a quick review of Notion AI. I'm going to show you guys step by step on how you can get started with Notion AI, what exactly are the Notion AI features, and are they actually worth it? So let's jump right in. Now we all know Notion as a really amazing productivity and note-taking application. It can serve as a project manager, a personal life manager, and a work workflow manager all in one. So Notion has now introduced AI features and this is an everything application. There are so many different AI applications to this and you have to pay based upon the AI apps that you're using, which makes this a really amazing tool, especially for people that are trying to find AI tools that are relevant to what they want. Because oftentimes AI tools are lumped together and you have to pay this higher price for features that are not being used by you, for features that are not necessary for you. So these few things are truly differentiating Notion from all of the other applications out there. Now let's go on ahead and take a look at all of the Notion AI features. First off, they have search, chatbots, meeting notes, writing assistance, email apps, AI research, calendar scheduling, team wiki, project management tool, basic CRM, site builder, and forms. So if you want, you can pick out whatever you prefer with the Notion AI. Let's say I want a project management tool and I want a AI research assistant. So instead of having to pay for all of these tools together, I can pay for what I Need. And this is going to depend highly on your team size as well. Now, there are so many different use cases for Notion. You can connect your apps. You can get answers from Notion docs and PDFs with the help of Notion's AI assistant. You can view your top competitors, market trends, and so much more. You can use the doc editor, translate, and take notes all with the help of AI, create flowcharts and diagrams, build summaries, and get insights. So let's get started. To get started on Notion, simply head on over to notion.com, click on get Notion free, and then you're going to proceed on their sign up. I'm going to be continuing with Google for a quick and easy sign up on Notion. You can sign up with your email address, Microsoft or Apple. And once you do that, you can just proceed on into your Notion account. So I'm just creating my account over here. And once we're creating our account, we do have to proceed with our onboarding on Notion. So within our onboarding, we are going to be using this for work and I'm going to be working on my own for now. We are in product management. And from here, you can always add more features. So let's say I want a product roadmap project as well as wikis and a document hub. I do want a goal tracker as well. And then I'm going to click on continue so I can proceed on to the next step. And now we're just going to move forward into Notion. And like so, we're going to proceed with the business platform of Notion. Now, you do have a trial of Notion AI Core on the free version as well. However, those can be a bit limiting. So I do prefer to opt with the trial and then click on Start Business Trial. Now, you will see that you do have to proceed with your payment info. And then we're just going to click on Start Payment. And then we have a verification code that we do need to verify. So I'm just going to go into my mailbox so that we can proceed with our Notion business trial. Now moving forward, we're just going to proceed and Notion is best paired with your calendar so it can access your schedule from anywhere in Notion and you can manage your projects and tasks. So I do recommend connecting your calendar. You can click on continue and connect your Google calendar or whatever calendar application that you are using. I am going to skip this for now because we're primarily just going to be focusing on the AI features. So on the left, you guys can see we have a Lily's Workspace HQ that has been created and you can build more team spaces as well for your business. Now within all of these, the applications have been created and within those I can set up my workflows. So starting off with my wiki, I want this to be a company home and then I'm going to click on get started. Once I get started, I can proceed with adding my company name. So let's say this is Spencer home and then after that I can add a description, a central hub for all Spencer info. Once I've done that, I can proceed and you guys can see there is this basic template that can help me in getting started. We have this global offices section and I'm just going to delete this. I can just select anything that is not necessary and then delete. Now, once done, I can proceed and I can press space. And once I do long press on the space like so, so I'm just going to go on ahead. And then you guys can see these are all of my Notion AI commands. Now I can add action items, I can write anything, I can add a summary, I can brainstorm ideas, get help with code, as well as ask a question so I can find information within my own databases. So it is going to create a summary. I'm going to discard this response because I 
do not want to create a response right now i actually want to write some content to so write anything write info about my brand spencer it's a clothing brand with a online website make up or like so and then you can see on the right you can see based upon the sources that it has it's going to draft that information so right now it's reading everything it's going to obviously base this upon the information that has been provided our vision our collection so on and so forth now it is creating our answer and our response for us and i'm going to click on insert and just like so i have inserted all of this information without having to write this all on my own now i'm going to go into my product roadmap and then within this i have my project description quarter effort category date i'm going to leave it at that and then i'm going to just click on done and build our roadmap now you guys can click on new project or new task and you can add those tasks over here if product roadmaps are not something you're going to be using you can remove those and add your own boards as well so you can click on build with ai which is the feature that i really like uh, i want to make a task tracker for my online business where it includes where it includes product data product or where it includes for my online business for social media promotions promotions emailing collabs suppliers and shipping so i want this to be like my all-in-one task tracker and now it is going to design a database accordingly this used to be such a hassle on notion because having to build these databases on your own is actually a very time consuming task it can take a lot of time a lot of effort and sure it is very rewarding but being able to now do that in a more efficient way, to be able to simplify your workflows, to break down everything using the power of AI is really significant. And it's actually really helpful to use all of these super amazing tools directly within Notion. So right now it is creating the databases, adding the relevant properties accordingly, and then adding related tasks, costs, and then completed date. Now I can add or make changes. Let's say we have priorities assigned to notes, tracking numbers, platform contact, and then due date. Let's say I also want to include potential revenue. Add a column for revenue like so and now it is going to design my database accordingly so you can tweak everything and make everything more customized and this is really helpful not only to make your information more elaborative but to also summarize information because sometimes you have a really large data set and you only want to gather the valuable content out of that so from here i can click on continue and then i can click on done and just like so my data set with my own board has been created i have an all task board a task board and a calendar view for my task so all of this is included within Notion and this is included in the Notion business plan. I do recommend if you're looking for Notion AI, you can access this directly from your bottom right and then find anything within your entire notion workspace now is this worth it is this something that is going to be useful well i definitely do think that the price on notion is actually pretty decent when you take a look at their plans it's 12 dollars for their plus and then 24 for their business the business plan is the one that includes notion ai so if you are going to upgrade do upgrade to the business and it does have some amazing features that can be really helpful according to your needs i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below which Notion feature are you the most excited for?